Greetings people, my name is Neptix and today I'm going to be talking about the difference between spells, abilities and attacks and the reason why this is important is because um, there's a lot of talents in the game that buff um, either spells and abilities or attacks or, or a mix of the two um, and it's quite important to read your talents and know which ones does what uh, for what abilities. Um, especially in a game such as Ascension, where talents are cross-class and there's a lot of mix and match and, you know, a lot of synergies between things that maybe you don't know what entirely what's going on, right? But anyways, uh, before I get into all that, I just want to say a quick thank you to all of the, frankly, overwhelming support that I've gotten um, over the last uh, eight days, I think it is, at the point of this video coming out um I, I couldn't in my wildest dreams imagine that in eight days we would already uh, be well on our way to 200 uh, subscribers that is absolutely nuts to me um so thank you very much for that and also to all of the people who are leaving uh, friendly comments on my uh, videos and for people who are leaving me messages in game and on discord it genuinely uh, warms my heart every time i lock on Anyways, back into the video, um, let's start with abilities. Basically anything you can find in your uh, spellbook is an ability. So that would be everything from auto attacks uh, to being able to block, to being able to change from high to low risk, um, rest, shoot, resurrect, change your spec, anything of this uh, sort is an ability. Also uh, stuff like um, your heartstone is an ability. It is you having the ability to do something, basically, right? Uh, that also includes your um, your class abilities, such as uh, shape shifting, um, anything that does damage, anything that's a temporary buff, anything that enchants your weapons. Uh, basically, anything you can find in your spellbook is an ability. But that leads leads me to the question of what is a spell and an attack then? If everything's an ability. So the best way to describe it is spells and attacks are specific abilities um, that, you know, they encompass certain abilities. And the way you figure out whether um, an ability is a spell or an attack is, uh, well, obviously by using common sense, but also there are a few factors that makes it a spell or an attack. Uh, one thing, for example, is uh, spells usually have a cast time. Sometimes they're instant as well. But um, they usually do have a cast time. Also, they also usually require mana. And they will always, 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 always uh, land within a school of nature. So spells always do some sort of spell school damage, right? So anything from holy to shadow to nature, uh, frost, fire, all of that sorts, right? Um, as for attacks, attacks are a bit different as well uh, there are quite a few exceptions with attacks as well um i will get into that but uh, generally speaking um attacks require a melee weapon that's a really good uh, starting point and they usually require rage or energy uh, or anything of that sort they can also be ranged it doesn't necessarily have to be melee range um things like hunter shots um, and stuff like auto attacks, uh, stuff like throw knife and uh, deadly throw and stuff like that. That technically has range, but counts as an attack. Uh, so that you know, obviously there are uh, exceptions. And this is when it get gets really confusing because some attacks can have a spell school attached to it as well, uh, which could lead some people to believe that it was a spell, but it is actually an attack. Uh, stuff such as um, flame tongue weapon and. Um, there's another ability that I can't uh, remember the name of um, off the top of my head. But it does shadow flame damage and scales with uh, weapon damage as well. And you know, um, even though it scales with uh, a spell school, that doesn't mean it's a spell necessarily. Um, as I said, attacks can also do that. But that also just means that you can scale that spell school and your attack is going to do more damage as well. Also, as I said, there are obviously exceptions with the rage and energy rule. Uh, stuff such as like paladin abilities um, are technically uh, attacks. Uh, things like uh, Crusader Strike and oh, what's it called? I don't play paladin. Uh, Divine Storm, I think it's called. Um, stuff like that. 
technically does um, physical damage and scales with your weapon damage as well. So they are attacks, even though they cost mana. Um, obviously, if you're playing uh, one with the light, the build, um, it does change it to holy damage and makes it have like extra spell modifiers and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, obviously at that point, it would be holy damage instead. By default, it is uh, physical damage. And, you know, uh, paladins as a class in general... Uh, from retail are you know kind of a hybrid anyways uh some of the talents that you know these things affect a lot are uh, talents such as uh burnout and stuff uh bur talent such as burnout only affects uh spells and that's quite important i don't know if you saw my um my cat video if you didn't uh, i recommend you go check that out that's a really strong build right now but um but yeah as i said uh, talents such as burnout and stuff they don't uh, necessarily affect um attacks uh, they only affect uh, um, spells. So, for example, in my cat video, I have an ability called Charred Bite. And that is technically an attack, even though it does fire damage. And uh, modifies my um, Searing Pain and stuff like that. So, I don't get the crit bonus uh, from Charred Bite. Which also makes it so that only does double damage and uh, not the triple damage that it would do with Burnout. So, things like that are very important to, to remember. And as I said, um, it's a good thing to... Uh, really like read and understand your talents and you know especially if you are a uh, hybrid build and for hybrid builds specifically i will make a video about that in the future because in season eight i think it was phase two uh they changed how um spell coefficients and how uh, scaling of different abilities work um so i will be making a video about that because that is quite um quite important actually for playing a hybrid build um some talents were also changed and some stats and how stats affect your character so stats like agility hit rating um like for example intellect intellect gives melee crit now and stuff like that so i, I will be making a, a video about that in the future um for all of those playing um hybrid builds anyways that is all i have for you today if you enjoyed the video, please let me know in the comments so I know whether to make more of this stuff or uh, to do some other videos in the future. Uh, maybe do more builds instead of guides. Um, whatever you guys want to see, put it in the comments. And I will see you in the next video.